Hey, I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. And in today's video, we're taking you to Savannah, Georgia. We were there recently. We only had one day to spend in Savannah. We wished we would have had longer, but we decided to spend most of the day exploring River Street. So River Street is a historical street that runs right beside the Savannah River. This Savannah River is what makes up most of the border between South Carolina and Georgia. And this is where a lot of the ships would come in in the 1700s, 1800s, so there are a lot of really old historical buildings there. Most of the buildings used to be used for cotton factories and for merchants of rice, and now most of them are home to a lot of shops, restaurants, hotels, pubs, lots of fun stuff to see. So we want to take you to River Street, Savannah. Here you see the cobblestone streets. Now these streets were built in the mid-1800s. You can see cars can still travel on these streets even though there isn't much traffic and you have to go 15 miles per hour. Mostly the streets are used for people walking. There are also uh, tour buses and trolleys that come through. There's parking right here on the river near the shops which is very convenient but it's also very limited. There are not many spaces out here. Uh, we were able to find one when we got there. Uh, we went on a Sunday. Parking was free but there's a fee the rest of the week. And you have to come down these cobblestone ramps to get to the shopping and dining district. There's even these historic steps in several places that don't look very safe. It even has warning signs, historic steps use at your own risk. So we just want to show you a few of the many, many shops that are located here. This was one of the first that we visited. This was Savannah Candy Kitchen, and they had lots of good stuff here, and you can watch them make it. Caramel corn, candied apples, ice cream, milkshakes. I think one even had fresh squeezed lemonade. And then, of course, they had a nice big case of lots of homemade treats. This was probably my favorite area. So many good things. And then also bulk candy and they had some pre-packaged gifts of candy if you wanted that. This was a store we liked. We bought several souvenirs here. It was Simply Savannah, one of several stores with Savannah-themed souvenirs. This was really cool. They were selling the statues from the book Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. It was made into a movie in 1997, so you can buy the book as well as the DVD of the movie and the statue. But other than that, it's got Savannah souvenirs, t-shirts, mugs, magnets, keychains, a lot of really nice quality souvenirs as well. This was another fun store, Bob's Your Uncle, and right next door to it, the sister store, Fanny's Your Aunt. And this store had a lot of t-shirts, many of them with fun, pithy sayings. It was a great one to look in. The next store we visited was the Five and Dime General Store. We like this a lot. There were a ton of souvenirs in here as well. Keychains, t-shirts, mugs. And you'll see in a moment, there's a lot of fun Christmas ornaments as well. This store also sold some snack items, some sodas, and a few items that you may need for your trip if you forgot them. So this was kind of a general store slash souvenir store, and it was really cool. And then there's also an outdoor shopping area. This is called River Street Marketplace. And this is a lot of stalls where different people have set up to sell various items. Some of them homemade, like homemade soaps, candles, lotions. They had crafts, some jewelry, some clothing. And that, there was one that had wind chimes. I don't know that we got it on video, but it was really cool. And here you can see some pottery. They also had some Savannah themed things that would make really good gifts, books, puzzles, artwork, things like that. So this was a nice little area. And the next shop we're showing you is Bird's Famous Cookies. We almost didn't walk into this store. We weren't really out looking for cookies, but we did end up going in because the free samples kind of enticed us in. This is actually a must stop. You really need to go to this store. The cookies are delicious. You can get a box of a variety of their different flavors for $5.95. So we tried some samples and they were delicious. Alice especially liked the key lime cooler flavor. They have a lemon flavor, a chocolate flavor, both of those I really like. Here you see the sampling station. 
Alice's trying some flavors. And of course, they were so good, we ended up going home with a whole box of our own at the end of the day. We also have two Christmas stores on River Street. This is one of them. It was really very pretty Christmas trees, Christmas decorations, lots of great southern decor here for really whatever your style is. And then they also had things that would work really well as gifts. They had things that were produced locally in Savannah, so jams, jellies, sauces, all of those would make great gift items if you're looking for that. So this was a really fun store. In addition to all the shops and restaurants, they've also got a couple of historical monuments along River Street. This one is called Worlds Apart. It commemorates World War II and all of the veterans from the Savannah area who gave their lives in that war. And as you can see, it's a giant globe that has been split in two. And along the inside of the globe are the names of all of the veterans who died in service to their country in World War II. And along the benches, they have the insignias of all the branches of military that were involved on behalf of our country in this war. It's just a, a nice place to stop and remember the sacrifice of people who fought in World War II. The other monument we found in the area is the African American Monument. We mentioned before how the buildings that are now shops and restaurants uh, were once used for cotton factories and rice merchants, but in addition, some of that space was also used as holding cells for slaves, Africans who had been kidnapped from their homes and sailed across the seas to be sold as property in the United States. So I think it's very fitting that this monument to the African American family has been placed here on this land. There's a quote at the bottom of the statue from Maya Angelou, and it's just a, a good sobering reminder of a dark part of Savannah and America's past. Also on River Street, there are tons of restaurants, so many that it was really hard to choose. They have specialty shops like ice cream shops or sandwich shops. They had some bars that looked really popular and any kind of restaurant you wanted. We ended up choosing this, the Shrimp Factory. So this was a seafood restaurant. It had really good food. And of course, this was during the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. So just like all the other restaurants on River Street, you had to wear a mask until you were in and seated. And they were doing social distancing. All of the servers had masks on. So they were taking a lot of precautions. And even in the tables that they were seating, especially their booths, they had plexiglass in between the tables just for an extra measure of safety. So we really enjoyed eating here. You can see on the menu lots of seafood. They had fried, broiled, some specialty items, and then a few sandwiches as well. I ended up getting crab legs and fried shrimp. It was really, really good. It came with a side of corn, and Jack got a cheeseburger which came with fries, and then we also decided to try their macaroni and cheese. And all of our food was really good, your typical great southern cooking. And they did have peanut butter pie on their dessert menu. That is one of Jack's favorites, so of course we had to try that. And it was delicious, really, really good. They also have their own specialty cocktail. It's called Chatham Artillery Punch, and this is a drink that dates back to when George Washington visited Savannah in the 1700s. Now, I didn't try that one, but it does have the recipe here, so if you wanted to try making it home, you could always do that as well. There are a number of trolley tours and bus tours of Savannah that you can take that go through River Street. There's also a river boat that you can ride down the Savannah River. There's even a number of haunted tours, allegedly. Savannah is one of the most haunted cities in the United States. Six or seven different ghost tours we saw advertised that kind of tour you around and show you the allegedly haunted history of the town. So there's lots of cool ways you can take a tour with a tour guide through the city. 
So that's a look at River Street in Savannah, Georgia, and it's still a working port. So you see big, huge cargo ships coming in, along with the historical aspects and then the dining and the shopping. It's just a really fun place. So I hope you enjoyed this look at River Street. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you will hit subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss another video. And we'll see you the next time. We're traveling through.